Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking a very long solid conducting cylinder of radius r carries a current along its length uniformly distributed through the, throughout the cylinder. Which one of the graphs shows in the figure most accurately describe the magnitude b of the magnetic field produced by this current as a function of the distance r from the central axis? Let's see how we can find this one out. So first of all, we have to know what's going to happen inside the conductor magnetic field. Now inside the conductor magnetic field is given by d is equal to mu naught i over 2 phi times r small r over r square. And you can see here this r is directly proportional to magnetic field. So as, a, as the R increases, this magnetic field should increase. Now let's look at the graphs and see which one is increasing. So this is inside, right? Let's write this one inside the conductor. Inside the conductor. So it means, so let's write it better way. Maybe just write it inside, you know inside so this means that this r until this r this is going to be directly proportional so it means it has to increase as the r increases this magnetic field should be increased until this r and let's look at the graph that's increasing the first one is increasing this is not increasing so we can eliminate this one and then we have this one this is not increasing this is we can eliminate this one this is also not decreasing. So from the first information, we already know the first one is going to be the answer. Now let's look at the second information. What happens after the R? After the R, the outside is given by outside conductor magnetic field is given by B is equal to mu naught I over 2 phi R. And here we, you can see this is inversely proportional. So this should decrease exponentially after the R. So let's look at the graphs. This one decreasing exponentially. This is not, this is decreasing, but this is decreasing. This is also decreasing exponentially, but according to the first information, this is our correct graph. So the, so the answer is going to be first one, right? Now let's look at this one right here. The second question. The question is asking, the figure shows two long parallel current carrying wires. The wires carry equal currents, I1 is equal to I2, that is 20 ampere. In the current directions indicated, are indicated and are located a distance D is equal to 0 0.5 meter apart. Calculate the magnetic magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at the point P that is located an equal distance D from each wire. So since the distance are equal, we know that this angle is going to be 60 degree. Right? Each of them is going to be 60 degree. Now let's look at the, let's see what what is going to be the magnetic field's direction at P point. To find that one, what we can use is we can use our right hand rule. So here this is going inside. If you curl your hand, if you direct your thumb towards the current's direction if you, and if you curl your hand, you will notice this uh, magnetic field will go in the clockwise direction, right? So clockwise direction means it will pass this point like this. So this is going to pass clockwise like this. So this is going to be B1. I mean B2 and then to find this one the magnetic field of this one again we have to use the right hand rule and here we have to point our thumb outside because we have a dot right here so you have to point your thumb toward yourself and if you curl it you will see this the hands hand will curl in the counterclockwise direction so the magnetic fields here is going to be in the counterclockwise direction direction so this is going to pass through this P like this right so this is going to be B1 now we have the direction of magnetic field 
Now let's see how we can calculate the magnitude of magnetic field. So to calculate the magnitude, we are going to use since both of them are going to be equal to P naught cos 60. So this is equal to B1 and that is equal to B2. Now let's go ahead and calculate this magnetic field. So magnetic field is the equation is mu naught I over 2 phi L right so mu naught is permeability constant that is 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla ampere per meter or tesla meter per ampere times i current that is 20 ampere 20 ampere in the denominator you are going to have 2 phi times the distance that is 0 0.5 meter apart so that's going to be the distance 0 0.5 meter and if you calculate this value, that should give you 80 times 10 to the power of minus 7 Tesla. And that's going to be the final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.